Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. My name is Siobhan, and today I'm sharing with you just a quick flip of my current planner, and let's talk about what I've been up to, and me being MIA a little bit on my YouTube channel. So I'm using my Paul notebook cover. This is the one that I got um, last summer with the personal shopper. And here I have some stickers that I made with Canva. You know, sometimes you ever see like um, a picture that you want to use as a sticker or you have, um, you want to create your own box stickers. I made these with Canva with the grid. I printed them out on sticker paper and then I cut them myself. Even though I have a Cricut machine, I didn't use my Cricut machine to cut them. I used my X-Acto knife and my cut-in mat because I am just difficult and complicated like that. But if you don't have a Cricut machine and you want to make like these easy stickers, I'll show you how to score them and then they turn into stickers. So like this, um, I didn't use a mat for this. I just used my X-Acto knife with a ruler and made my little cut, light cut. This way I can peel them off as stickers. So lots of stickers here for the summer. I am gathering and um, getting everything ready for this summer with lots of plans and things like that. So I've been absent here because I just needed a break. Um, as you guys know, I have my Instagram, which is my main platform, and then I have YouTube channel. I'm now on TikTok. Um, I have Pinterest, the blog, and I work full time. I'm a mother. I have two kids at home, virtual learning, um, house to take care of, husband, and all that stuff, dog. And it gets a little bit overwhelming sometimes. So at some point, you have to listen to um, your body and just take it easy. I mean, I like creating content for you guys and making sure that, you know, I share things with you. I know a lot of you seek more help to, um, and motivation with watching my videos and ideas as far as what you want to do with your planners and your life overall. And I want to continue that. Um, I post frequently on Instagram. That's, like I said, my main platform and the main platform that I do a lot of collabs with friends and things like that. So because of the tedious task of creating YouTube videos, I took a break from the, the one thing that um, to me was the most work. So this was the YouTube and um, I took a little break, which I have a lot of ideas ready to film. I just did not have the motivation. I didn't want to force myself. Plus, there were days when I was not feeling too well to do everything. So here's the planner that I'm still using. There's going to be an update with the planner that I'm currently using. I know we spoke about the desk agenda that I had cut down. Well, now I have this A5 size Stylogy notebook that I cut down to fit into my B6 size cover. So this note, this planner cover, it's a little bit bigger than B6. So I wanted one uh, a notebook that was slightly bigger than the B6, but slightly smaller than an A5. And I took the Stylogy to FedEx um, Print Center and they cut it for me for like $3 and change. So still using it and it's still going good. And um, I did my tabs on my, on Canva. That was very easy to make. So I'm gonna jump to May because we're talking about May. Actually, I oh, can look through April. Because the other things here are like personal stuff, bill pay, my business, and things like that. So April was such a fun month to create. I used the monthly page as a uh, memory planning. So like if there was, if the day passed and I didn't have any actual plans that were pre-planned, all I did was just write in something unique about the day or something significant and I wanted to remember. So Froyo was the highlight of the day so i wrote it in and then i use all this other things here so stickers are from um, capital chic designs and random sticker shops so that was my monthly setup and then i have my weekly plans which i have i think i'm not sure if i shared it this is when i was going through my withdrawal symptoms for not taking my fibromyalgia medication and that was not a good thing. So um, 
quickly started it back because it literally felt like death. Um, um, another week here. I am falling, falling in love with weekly planning. So weekly planning is kind of like my jam now. I like to create these spreads, use my stickers, get creative. It also helps with my mental health. And then I have my family paint night. I do a little bit of scrapbooking in here as well. Um, another spread here for April. Then we went to the city. We took some pics. We just had a fun day in the city. Um, this week, these are just some like planner ideas. This was Earth Day. Um, having one of those lazy days. Not sure if it's because I'm on oop, my period, but just super lazy. So my journal and in my note in my notebook is not anything like um, specific. It's literally what I'm thinking about at the time or if I just feel like writing I know a lot of planner people love to write about things we like the fact of putting pen to paper and just always writing something so um, I use that to just write down anything that's in my head it could be something really horrible something happy it doesn't matter my journal and has no real direction I just start writing this was another week here and then this was one day and then this was another week and then this is some journal and stuff, some journal. And with my journal, I always like to write the date, the time, the my, where I'm located as far as where I'm journaling, and also the the mood that I'm in. May, we're still in May, not so much as April. I think this month I'm going through like a slight um, down feel, and I'm not sure. See, this was one week here. I didn't even finish, but um. This is some Florida stuff we have. Um, this is Friday the 7th. I wrote 20 things that I like to do so I can refer back to it, especially me being in like a funk. Um, I'm not in a planner funk because I'm still using my planner and I pick it up every day. It's just like a mental um, thing that I'm going through. I just have a lot of things that we're trying to plan through at home and I think I'm just a little bit nervous as far as the future and it kind of affects like my overall mood and things like that so um, so when I was feeling a little bit down the other day I tried to draw my strawberry pot that's in my um, in my garden so I it's not draw it's actually water paint and then this was one week here um, I love the ripped paper. I get these papers from my grocery shopping bags at some supermarkets. They give you a brown paper bag. I just um, take my scissors and cut them into squares and keep them in my desk. And then I can have them at any time. And it also goes for paper that I use, that I pretty mailer that I get or anything that I can reuse. More journaling, more journaling. Um, this is... This most recent, we went to Fat Boy Burrito. This is the 15th. And then we're up to the week to plan for um, this week. So here we have my washi, my travel washi um, holders, just samples of the ones that I really like. And I use this cardstock paper. It's what you can use to, if you're like a stamp collector, I'll post it. It's a um, reusable type of thick paper that you can use to craft with or any other crafts and then on the in the back I have some stickers so this is what I've been doing a lot of with my time is looking through random pictures on Canva and making stickers for my planner um, it's free if you have like the pro version there's a lot more options available to you photos but for me I'm just using um, these right now I think they're good for the, where I am as far as what I like for my planner. Um, I have ink subscription from HP Envy and I have a ton of sticker paper so while I'm home I can just basically do things like this. So this I really love this idea of making our own box stickers. If you want a tutorial let me know. I can film it really quick and post it. It's so simple. Um, it also will help if you watch the first Canva video that I did about making the dashboards. It's like the similar, it's similar, and I can show you how to cut these. So that's pretty much everything. Um, if you have any questions, comment below, and I will see you next time.